This was the land of the Indian, the land of the Iroquois, the Senecas, the Cayugas, the Onondagas, the Oneidas, and the Mohawks. Virgin land, untouched, abundant. To the east, pine forests met the dunes and the beaches and an ocean big and blue as the sky. The face of our earth bore the scars of eternity. Everywhere were waterways on which our people could journey across the land. But soon from across the sea, strangers came on the wings of the wind. The year was 1524. The great Italian navigator, Giovanni da Verrazzano, sailed along this then uncharted coast and found his way through these wooded narrows into a sheltered bay. In 1609, the French explorer, Samuel de Champlain, sailed up this great river, now the St. Lawrence, and discovered the lake which now bears his name. But even as Champlain was claiming this vast territory for the French Empire, Henry Hudson, exploring for the Dutch, was sailing up this great river. The British soon followed and called the land New York. Into the wilderness of New York came hardy adventurers. Hunters and trappers looking for the wealth to be gained from the trade in furs, pushed northward and westward. Historic frontier forts stand today as evidence of the long struggle between the French, the Indians, the British Crown, and later, the American colonists. Here you can take your own personal time tunnel into the past and relive some of the most exciting pages of American history. In New York, more than a third of the battles of the American Revolution were fought. At Fort Niagara on Lake Ontario, join the colonial militia as guides reenact the pageantry of our nation's beginning. The fort, built originally by the French in 1679, was captured by the British in two wars the French and Indian War, and the War of 1812. When this color ceremony is completed, the flags of the three nations that occupied Fort Niagara fly side by side. Here, history takes on a new dimension and offers endless possibilities for picture taking. At Fort Ticonderoga on Lake Champlain, relive part of the drama of the revolution. Listen to the sound of ancient mortars as tales of Ethan Allen and his Green Mountain Boys once again fill the air. From a wilderness so long a battleground soon emerged the fastest growing and most prosperous state in the new nation. Known then and now as the Empire State. More and more people came from other lands, bringing their dreams of liberty. From their cultures and their skills rose America's greatest city, New York. Today, a towering metropolis of steel and glass containing two-thirds of all the skyscrapers in the United States. The city is made up of five boroughs, mostly islands, reached and interconnected by a network of bridges, tunnels, and highways. As for things to do, try Central Park. Take a stroll or a carriage ride. Or take a trip to one of the city's many zoos. It's a must for children of all ages. 
The Bronx Zoo is known the world over. For unsurpassed charm, spend a quiet hour at one of the city's botanic gardens. Regardless of the season, you'll find Rockefeller Center one of the top attractions. For dining, New York's hundreds of restaurants include many of the world's best. One of the most photographed spots in the city is the United Nations, a symbol of hope for a world of peace. Bus tours make sightseeing easy. Store windows everywhere reflect the pace and interest of the people and their visitors. New York is a shopper's dream come true. Name it, and somewhere in New York you'll find it. For New York City is a kaleidoscope of people and places. Things to see and things to do. A night spent in the big city is never forgotten, for this is the entertainment capital of the world. A moving panorama of light and color attracting city folk and tourists alike to the world of the night people. In New York, boat yards hum with activity year-round. Throughout the state are facilities for boats of every size and description. Along Westchester County's beautiful shores, in good weather or bad, sailing enthusiasts race with every wind. New York's ocean playground is Long Island. White sand beaches rim most of its 120 mile length. Jones Beach State Park is one of the most popular. Quaint villages and charming homes invite you to linger on Long Island. If small town auctions intrigue you, have fun in almost every tree shaded community. Making room for just one more souvenir is no problem when you travel by car. Local bazaars and art shows are a regular part of Long Island social life. Visitors are always welcome. For artists, the subjects are endless. Sag Harbor, once the center of the whaling industry, holds a whaling festival in June. Boat crews from everywhere compete for prizes. The prey, this artificial Moby Dick. On farms such as this are bred those famous Long Island ducklings. The number raised each year exceeds the populations of New York and Philadelphia combined. And partner, dude ranches are popular all over the state. And on Long Island, they offer the novelty of rides along secluded beaches. Fishing is a favorite occupation of seashore visitors. It's good just about anywhere. Fishing boats are always available for charting. Saltwater fishing is an exciting sport for everyone. Today, it's a school of bluefish. Tomorrow, maybe tuna or a fighting marlin. At the eastern tip of the island, Montauk Light guards the seaward approach to New York. A picturesque backdrop for a hike along the rocky shore. From the days of the first explorers, the mighty Hudson River played a vital role in the expansion and growth of New York. During the summer months, cruise ships ply the river as beautiful as any river in the world, castles and all. High above its banks, scenic highways offer an enchanting view of the area for those who prefer to drive.
Many of those aboard the cruise ship will disembark at Bear Mountain State Park for picnicking, hiking, or sightseeing. This picturesque recreational area offers all kinds of facilities to visitors. From the top of Bear Mountain, endless views stretch on every side. A short distance up the river, you'll discover this highland fortress at West Point, an important fortification guarding the Hudson during the Revolution. George Washington chose it as the site for the United States Military Academy, founded in 1802. Passing in review are the future generals of the U.S. Army, men who have come here from every corner of our nation to follow in the footsteps of heroes and presidents who have graduated from here. Open to the public, West Point invites you to tour the academy and inspect the battle monuments on the grounds. On Sunday evenings in summer, the sound of music drifts over the Hudson as band concerts are held for the cadets and their guests. For a refreshing break in any travel schedule, pay a visit to Sterling Forest Gardens. 125 acres of woods and floral displays that change with every season. As colorful as the flowers, the flamingos put on a never-ending show. This is the land of Rip Van Winkle, the Catskill Mountains, for generations one of our country's most popular vacation lands. An array of parks and woods are set aside for vacationers amid the natural beauty of this lush green countryside. Fresh water lakes and streams offer all kinds of family fun. Food never seems to taste quite as good anywhere else as it does in settings like this. You'll find hundreds of quiet camping places all over the state. The Catskill Forest Preserve alone consists of 700,000 acres with miles of trails and fishing streams. So if the mood hits you, pick a stream. Licenses can be obtained for a nominal fee. For those who prefer the comforts of home away from home, Sullivan County in the Catskills has more resorts than any other county in the nation from small home-like hotels to the world's biggest vacation resort. For golfers, more than 200 courses are open to the public. Fifty miles up the Hudson from New York City, near the site of the first Dutch settlement, you'll find Albany, the capital of New York State. In the Capitol building, free guided tours are conducted for visitors. Adjacent to the Capitol towers the modern state office building. Statesmen from New York have often moved on to national and international influence and fame. Although politics is the consuming interest here, industry and trade flourish. Albany is a deep water port serving international shipping. The port facilities are an important factor in the city's growing commercial importance. As early as the 1800s, monumental waterways connected Albany and the Hudson River with the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence River. Once horses pulled tiny barges on the towpaths along the banks. Now, powerful tugs pushing huge steel barges 
provide one of the most efficient means of modern transportation. To get through locks with low headroom, some tugs have retractable pilot houses. In early days, the canal route to the Midwest helped New York City become the largest seaport in the United States. In time, the railroad followed the water level route of the canal to the west. And with the coming of the automobile and the paved highway, another means of transportation was born. The western terminus of the Erie Canal is Buffalo, largest inland port in the country. Located on the shores of Lake Erie, Buffalo is the second largest city in the state. South of Buffalo, in a natural setting on Lake Chautauqua, dancers gather for a summer workshop. Here with others their own age, they learn the fine points of the dance. Many pleasant hours are spent by visitors as they stroll through the landscape grounds listening to music. Music lovers gather here from all over the country to play and practice. Aspiring musicians are given an opportunity to master their specialty in one of nature's most secluded rehearsal halls. You are listening to the roar of Niagara. Millions of visitors venture here each year to view one of the natural wonders of the world, Niagara Falls. 412 acres of park extend to the very edge of the roaring waters. This is the American Falls, cascading 157 feet to the rocks below. Dressed in rain slickers, guides will lead you to the very heart of this mighty torrent. The thrills of many. Few forget its awe and splendor or the power of the turbulent waters. This steamer is named the Maid of the Mist, she and her sister ship carry the adventurers through the eternal mist far below. If you've never found your rainbow, you're sure to find it here. In the broad St. Lawrence River, between New York State and Canada, lie the Thousand Islands. If you doubt the number, count them as you cruise among them. Old Castle is one of the many places to visit on a tour of the islands. It was a millionaire's dream, which was never completed. Ocean-going freighters steam through the St. Lawrence Seaway, a project to improve navigation between the North Atlantic Ocean and the Great Lakes. A tunnel below the Eisenhower Lock permits motorists to drive under the passing ships. At the mere sight of water, the wet set take to their skis. Water sports are popular everywhere. Canoe trips may vary from an hour to days or even weeks, from lake to lake with convenient camping stops at night. You can enjoy this famous view of Lake Placid by hiking up Whiteface Mountain or driving up the Whiteface Mountain Highway. One of the most interesting of all the many New York State parks is Watkins Glen. A mountain stream carved the native stone into weird yet beautiful formations. Footpaths cross and recross, 
under its many falls. Discover why Elmira, New York is called the glider capital of the world. To find out, let a skilled pilot give you a demonstration ride. Once aloft, the tow plane will set you free. Now you're on your own. You fly like an eagle, with wind and rising air currents your only power. On newly found thermals, you soar higher and higher, right up into the clouds. Now that you've found the demonstration enjoyable, anybody for lessons? If baseball is your game, chances are you've heard of Cooperstown and the Baseball Hall of Fame. Here, those who dream of big league careers learn of yesterday's baseball heroes. The dream of every baseball great is election to the Hall of Fame. At Corning, New York, you'll discover the fascinating world of glass, one of man's most versatile materials. Each year, over a million visitors tour the Corning Glass Center, tracing the history and art of glassware through three and a half thousand years. Here on display, you'll find priceless glass exhibits from many lands. At the Steuben factory, watch as skilled craftsmen turn molten glass into the world's finest crystal before your very eyes. Many pieces, specially designed for the difficult art of copper wheel engraving, are used as gifts of state and are exhibited in art museums all over the world. This giant ribbed glass disc, the first of two 20-ton castings made for the world's largest telescope, was designed to collect starlight from faraway galaxies in the universe. Near the shores of Lake Champlain is famed Osable Chasm. It looks very much the same as it did to the Indian. A boat trip is a feature of a visit here. The high point comes as visitors shoot the rapids to the lower end. Skilled boatmen steer you past the rock formations making up the walls of the chasm. Listen as your guide recounts Indian legends and tales of love and adventure long associated with this nature wonderland and James Fenimore Cooper's classic Indian stories. The Finger Lakes are another prime attraction in New York State. Each lake forms one of the fingers of a giant's hand. Banked by sweeping hills, each lake is patched here and there by some of the world's finest vineyards. On sheltered hillsides, the grapes are grown for their quality and flavor. Visitors are welcome during the fall harvest. Wineries are delighted to have you sample their famous New York State wines. As the seasons progress, follow nature's palette of fall colors along any number of winding highways. In Letchworth State Park, Listen as crunching leaves are drowned by another of nature's specials, the Genesee Gorge and Falls. 
discover a new glory as the farm country puts on its fall display. Not far away at North Pole, New York, small fry are delighted to discover Santa's workshop. Santa's never too busy to chat or pose for pictures. They find the North Pole made of real ice. Too much to resist. A visit here is never forgotten. When a blanket of white finally announces winter, dog sleds welcome you to one of the loveliest winter sports areas in America. If you ski, ski the finest. Ski New York. Ski areas all over the state welcome you. Lifts of every type take you to the top. Often hidden in clouds, Whiteface Mountain offers the longest vertical descent in the east. If this is your year for fun, experience the million mixed sensations only skiing brings. For the time of your life, give your family a memorable winter holiday at one of New York State's winter resort areas. Near Lake Placid, at speeds reaching 100 miles an hour, the daring race the clock on championship bobsled runs. If you prefer ice boating, join the hardy on one of New York's ice-covered lakes and rivers. Better still, try a snowmobile safari on a variety of snow-covered trails throughout the state. Winter sports are everywhere, from the mountains and lakes to the heart of the big city. The Empire State invites you any time of year. Why not pay us a visit? From the roar of Manhattan, to the roar of Niagara. Make New York your own state of discovery.